go. Uh, I am the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Good day. Welcome to Great White Retro. I'm Gord Messick. This is my brother, Jeff. How's it going, eh? Hey, our topic today is the city of Winnipeg. We're doing a crawl through thrift stores and recycling places to try to find some vintage computer bits. Let's get her done. Ah, Winnipeg, my hometown, home of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, the Loser Peg Jokes, probably more museums than I would ever care to count. <laughs> it's right smack in the middle of the country. The geographical center of Canada is just a little bit uh, east of here. Again, we got some very nice landmarks here, including what I consider the very important Human Rights Museum. Bridget and I paid a visit out here when we came out here last summer. But it's also probably the wholesale capital of Canada, because I believe Winnipeg has more thrift stores per person than anywhere else in the country. <laughs> anyway, my brother Jeff and I decided to take a look around, see if we can find any vintage computers. We went to thrift stores downtown, we went up into my old haunt East Kildonan here. Lots of fairly modern stuff, including that lovely license plate there that we picked up. But uh, we didn't have much luck until we found Mother Earth Recycling, formerly known as Cyrotech. I remember these guys. Back in my Amiga days, they were selling all kinds of vintage bits. There's a Model 4, I think, there, TRS-80. Lots of old Nintendo cartridges as well. Lots of vintage... I hope these guys can successfully retire selling these things. And this Mac Plus that I asked about, but they weren't willing to sell this one. They did, however, have a Mac SE there, and, well, they wouldn't sell that to me for reasons that I'll explain later. Anyway, along our little quest, we decided to pay a visit to this place here. If you needed an esoteric tool or part, Princess Auto is very likely the best place you'll find it. <laughs> It was over here that we were able to find some Torx security screwdriver bits. Not only just regular Torx uh, security bits, but ones that were like ridiculously long. Just the kind of thing that would fit in the handle of a classic Macintosh. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me explain what happened shortly after we got these. What's this called again? It's a Macintosh Special Edition, or Mac SE. It's in the same product family like as the as the Mac Plus, but it's got some standardizations on it that were slowly introduced. So it was like the, the bog standard Mac for quite some time. This was kind of the version where Apple worked out most of the kinks oh. as well. We were going out the back door the way we came in just to get to our car, and I saw this thing sitting on the floor. Mm. And I asked, well, what about this? So I can't sell it until until I get the hard drive out of there because there may be personal data on it. Mm. The SEs were also some of the first ones to have built-in hard drives. Okay. On a lark, we went to Princess Auto to see because he said we can't take we can't sell it unless we can take it apart and take the hard drive out. Okay. So after visiting visiting the MCC in East Kildonan, mm -hmm. going for lunch and then backtracking to Princess Auto on a lark to see if we could find the screwdriver that we needed. Mm -hmm. We found the screwdriver that we needed. We called the recycling pla place back and said, we found these things. How deep is it to get at the screws? Mm -hmm. And he says about six inches, which is less than what I figured it was. Okay. So I said, you know, would you like a Mac cracker? We found some. Oh, cool. We found some screwdrivers that were Torx bits that were that deep. Mm -hmm. So after finding that, we raced back to Mother Earth before they closed, and I am now the proud owner of an original Mac SE. <laughs> Okay. 